What's up guys, Will, Will H Tech Review, back with another video. And today I got a follow-up video for you guys. And it's about the R1 by New Mobile. So a big shout out to New Mobile for shipping this out for a review. Uh, they sent this out about three to four weeks ago. And I've had a chance to use this device on and off since then. And I just wanted to come back and give you guys my opinion. Uh, tell you some things that I like about it, things I don't like about it. And just just talk about this device since having it since then. So let's talk about the build quality on this device first. This is uh, advertised as a rugged style device, and it it definitely is a rugged device. As you can see, the build quality on it uh, is rugged. It looks like it has a rugged style case on it already, but that's that's just the build of it. And I actually like uh, rugged style, you know cases so when i have my other devices i always buy the auto box or any case that'll help protect my device uh better and i like this a lot right here that the way that they build this so you can see it has the beefed up corners uh just has that nice industrial uh strength looking uh look to it has a honeycomb cap pattern on the back of it uh your speakers down at the bottom and this is ip 68 dust drop and waterproof uh rated so uh let's go around it here even though it has this rugged build to it it feels good in the hand it's not very big and as you can see in my hand i think it's uh perfect size so uh the weight is not too bad either so let's go around it here uh you got your volume up and down your power button you do have a dedicated camera button there that is nice uh, on the bottom you, your port for your micro USB uh, charging port is covered. That's part of the waterproofing. And on this side, you have a slot for your SIM and your micro SD card. At the top, you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that is covered up. And uh, you do have an 8 megapixel camera on the back with a flash and a microphone. New, new branding speaker, as I mentioned earlier. And then at, uh, on the front, you got a two megapixel camera, your earpiece and a sensor there. And overall, the build quality is solid. Uh, don't feel like I'm going to drop this and break it if I do drop it. And uh, just great feeling in the hand for as far as build quality. So let's talk about this display on here. So this is a five inch display. Uh, this is 1280 by 720. Uh, this is a HD display as well, I, HD IPS display, and the colors don't look bad for uh, for this this display. Now you got to remember this is a budget device, so uh, you're not going to be getting uh, the high high resolution on 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 your display as far as colors and everything like that. But overall, I think it's, it's not a bad it's not bad for a 720 display at all. Uh, the touch res, uh, touch responsiveness. It's great on it. Uh, did come with a pre-installed stream protector as well on this device. So as far as the stream, it's not bad. You do have some touch capacitive buttons down here at the bottom. Uh, that was one thing I didn't mention when I was going around it. Uh, but overall, the display is not bad at all on it. Uh, next, I want to talk about the battery. So this has a 4,000 milliamp battery and uh, great battery life. I get at least two days of uh, medium to heavy use on it. Now, I'm not going to be going hard on this one like I would do one of my flagship devices because I know you can't uh, have a lot of apps open, uh, run uh, high intense games or something like that. So for me, with the, the strain size and just uh, using it medium to heavy, then I get a lot, I, I do get a lot of battery life out of this. So this is, is running uh, the MediaTek processor the mt6739 quad core 1.36 processor this has 60 16 gigabytes of storage two gigabytes of ram so that tells you right there that it's not a high power device this is running on 8.1.1 oreo as well uh, but it, it performs pretty well if you need a phone uh, that you can do social media uh, this will open up and run 
uh, your your Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and that stuff. It runs that well. So uh, if you need a phone that could, that's capable of doing that and uh, does it pretty well and text messaging and things of that, that nature, uh, I use it mainly as a backup device when I'm at my job and I don't want to carry one of my other devices because I don't want to drop my one of my expensive phones off of one of those. Uh, but far as web browsing, web pages open up quickly. So you can see I'm in the back of my house. And you can see I, I loaded up this uh, Apple's web page very quick. Uh, so it performs well right there. Now, as far as using this for gaming, uh, I'll open up Angry Birds here. Little games like this should work very well on this. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems, but you're not going to be running, uh, like I said earlier, the high intense games or anything like So while Angry Birds load up, uh, this is a dual, you can use dual SIMs in here. You can add storage to it as well. And uh, so here's Angry Birds here. Give me a good shot in, guys. Yeah, so stuff like that, games like that work fine. You shouldn't have any problems with uh, using it for things like that. Uh, for phone calls, I use this on AT&T Network, and I didn't have any problem. Nobody told me that I sounded weird or they sounded okay on it as well. Uh, so it works. It worked gr great for phone calls. Uh, text messaging, the stream is flat, uh, so shouldn't have no problems with uh, typing on this. This does have Gorilla Glass 3. I don't know if I've mentioned that already. The weakest part about this phone uh, are the, the cameras. So if you need a phone that's got great cameras, then uh, I wouldn't pick this one up. It only has a 2 megapixel front facing camera. Uh, it has an 8 megapixel rear facing camera. And neither one of them, do. they're not real good at, at videos or taking pictures. I'll drop some video in here right now. A little sample of the video. Video actually wasn't all that bad. I, I filmed that on a cloudy day. And in the pictures, you do have to be real still when you're trying to take pictures with this device. So just keep that in mind. So this only works with your GSM carriers. So just think about that too. It's unlocked. So you can use it with just those carriers. So to end with on this, I would say that this device is for... Maybe some kids that need a device that they can play a few games, do the social media, and you don't have to worry about uh, so much about it breaking because it is a rugged style device or give it to your parents, someone that does not necessarily need a our device, just need a smartphone maybe to keep in touch with people on Facebook, social media. I got a guy I work with. He doesn't care about smartphones. He's got a flip phone. All he needs is a, is a phone to make calls. So this would probably be something perfect for him. Uh, that's who I would target this phone for. Now, this phone does have a built-in uh, FM radio as well. I forgot to mention that. So nice device. You can pick this up. It's, it is a, this is not a flagship device. This is a budget device. And uh, you might want to pick it up for yourself as a backup device. I use it at my other job. So when I'm there, if I drop it and break it, then I'm not dropping my $1,000 device. So anyway, guys, that's my look at the uh, new mobile R1 after using it for three to four weeks. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H, and I'm out.